Amid the ongoing conflict with China, the Indian Armed Forces are now going to acquire the Pra-Lai ballistic missile, which can hit targets from 150 to 500 kilometers. According to defense sources, the proposal advanced by the Indian Defense Forces is scheduled to be taken up for clearance during a high-level meeting this week. The proposal is also significant because it comes at a time when Indian forces are developing a rocket force, which has been discussed at the highest levels of the Defense Ministry. Admiral Ahari Kumar recently stated that the late General Bipin Rawat was working on the creation of a rocket force to counter border enemies. Last December, the missile was successfully tested twice, on two consecutive days, and the forces have been working to acquire and induct it since then. On the 22nd and 23rd of December 2021, India tested Pra-Lai surface-to-surface short-range ballistic missile. India's Defence Research and Development Organisation described Pra-Lai as a new generation missile. The missile marks an important step in India's ambitions to develop more credible missile forces. The DRDO said that Pra-Lai has an advanced guidance system and a rocket engine that uses solid fuel. Images shows it being launched from a road mobile system with a tower. Based on information from the DRDO, Pra-Lai has a range of 150 km to 500 km and carries a 350 kg to 700 kg high explosive preformed fragmentation warhead, penetration cum blast, PCB, and runway denial penetration submunition, RDPS. In one test, the missile was sent on a path that was almost like a ballistic one, reaching the designated target at 400 km with high degree of accuracy, validating controls, guidance system and mission algorithms. The weapon's lethality and accuracy were tested in the second test, which used a heavier payload. The missile had a maximum range of 500 km and was tracked by telemetry, radar and electro-optic tracking systems deployed along the eastern coast, as well as downrange ships positioned near the impact point. Pra-Lai is designed to target radar and communication installations, command and control centers, and advanced airfields using conventional warhead. The missile guidance system incorporates cutting-edge navigation and integrated avionics. Pra-Lai fills the need for a conventionally armed ballistic missile that is not constrained by the nuclear policy of no first use. The advanced missile was designed to be able to defeat interceptor missiles. It has the ability to change its path after flying a certain distance. As the Pra-Lai utilizes existing subsystems from the K-15 and K-4 SLBMs, unit costs are likely to go down because of this. These shared technical features might also mean that the Pra-Lai system will need fewer launch tests before it can be put into service. If the system passes a few more tests in the future and then a short series of user trials, it could be ready to use in the next few years. The consistent pace of Pra-Lai testing likely reflects India's intention to demonstrate a high rate of missile activity in the aftermath of clashes between China and India along the disputed border. In contrast to China, India has few conventional ground-launched missile options. These revolve around the BrahMos supersonic missile, which was developed in collaboration with Russia. Developing the longer range and conventionally armed Pra-Lai ballistic missile would thus provide New Delhi with a better capability to deter and engage in war fighting against additional targets. Additionally, Pra-Lai could play an important role in a future Indian service branch, owing to its polyvalence and relatively low cost. According to sources, such missiles provide own troops with a tremendous capability to completely destroy or take out enemy air defense sites or similar high-value targets. Because long-range strategic weapons are controlled by the Strategic Forces Command, the Pra-Lai missiles and the BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles would be the longest-range tactical weapon system in the defense forces.